Hello and welcome to Mahindra Blueprints for a brand new series where we'll be looking into the growth of electric technology. We'll be putting the spotlight on Mahindra's new developments and finding out how it uses its ABB FIA Formula E team to take knowledge from race to road. Now, when we talk about Formula E, we think of highly charged racing in electric cars with an extremely high voltage battery powering the electric motors. Which is, of course, correct, but there are also numerous systems like the braking system, sensors and other critical electronics that actually rely on a much smaller, low voltage battery to power them. And Mahindra, together with their partners, Renesas, Voxdale and Umicore, have actually built a high performance, low voltage battery. So Nikki, to give you an idea of the battery, it looks a little something like this. Oh wow, very cool. So can you just explain to me, Jake, how does it actually work? So inside there are two stacks of four cylindrical lithium ion cells. Now together the cells produce the voltage needed to operate the electronics. Together with Umicore, Mahindra can determine the right arrangement and the right choice of cells for the job. These are then encased in a lightweight and crucially fireproof material in partnership with Voxdale. Renaissance, meanwhile, supplies the electronics, which manages the distribution of power to the low voltage systems on board the car. But those electronics are highly sophisticated and they can detect their own faults as well, so it's constantly monitoring things like battery temperature, voltage and current, just to ensure that the battery remains safe and usable. Which is something we talk about in Formula E all the time. So can the electronics actually intervene if any of those become too high? Absolutely. So if the battery temperature gets too high, you experience something called thermal runaway, which is when the battery temperature goes up and continues to rise and rise. And that's not something you want. So with a solid state contact to switch, the battery switches off and it's kept safe and the battery remains protected. And that's how Mahindra uses its second battery to manage all of the onboard system aboard its lightning fast M6 Electro race car. Well Jake, thank you very much for giving us a few more insights into the new battery developments here at Mahindra and do stay tuned for more blueprints.